liberals as social services. And the Bush administration certainly isn't expanding those. Mm -hmm. um, that is something that they're following, the very conservative pathway in, in, in cutting those down. So right. in certain areas, yes, military, we see, you know, that is growing, and, um, but that's not something that liberals tend to encourage growth. Yeah, in. Well, I, I'm going to throw two things, and I want for us to sort of move into the, to the meat of this, but two things I want to, to throw out for you to think about and for the audience to think about recently that happened, and that happened on this administration's watch, that has caused great consternation in both in some Republican circles as well as in uh, Democratic circles. One, the Supreme Court made a ruling affecting Connecticut last week that says eminent domain that the government can use eminent mm -hmm. domain to take people's houses, not for the public good in terms of setting up roads or sewage system or things that would normally serve large population per se, but that they can do it for private developers, mm -hmm. for private developers to increase so-called the tax roll and public um, create uh, work, yeah, jobs, jobs and things like that. Mm -hmm. And what was frightening to some people about that is that in this situation that happened, it was removing nine or 15 private homes mm -hmm. and turning the property over to private developers, not government, mm -hmm. not government entities. So that's one thing that has happened. And then today in the media, um, what the thing, and I am going to read this, uh, the title of this, Time Magazine to Hand Over Reporter Notes. And this is the case where the Time Magazine reporter, Matt Cooper, um, was told that he had to hand over his notes, and these are his private notes as a, a journalist, that um, has to do with disclosing sources in a leak of, CIA, of a CIA officer's mm -hmm. identity. And these two things are things that just seem so frightening to many, many people, and contrary to the conservative um, philosophy. And as in a democracy, the question would be, um, if this happens here under the conservative watch, what does it say about the potential for these things to happen more if to the little person who has no power so I, I don't necessarily want you to answer that, but I just want to put it out there. But let's get back to, because I like where you're going, and I want to talk about, um, now we talk already about are we comfortable with labels, and you've certainly explained why you're not comfortable with labels, because the labels sometimes overlap, and there are pieces in the conservative piece that many of you are comfortable with, and vice versa. <laughs> well, <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, so... Um, how do we feel, given everything we've talked about, how do we feel about the Bush administration and its foreign policy uh, in terms of liberal conservative mode and functions? How I'm, do you feel? No, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, <laughs> Just one at a time. I'm frightened. Um, You're frightened. I feel Why? that we're moving away from you know, the spirit of cooperation and a spirit of um, global unity into a spirit of, you know, National Union, the American Union, which is good, and there is, there is something we said. You for say it's good, but you say you're frightened by it. No, no, which is which is good. In a w I mean, to an extent, you know, it's good that we're unified as a country, but it's frightening. Are we unified as a country? No, we aren't. That's I, we aren't, but they're attempting to. And it's good that we're attempting to project ourselves as you know a force. I mean, it, attempting to project ourselves to the world as as or as one is like I feel like our administration today is, is is very much trying to use America as a cohesive unit and America sort of against the rest, of the, the rest world. of the world America against other countries and I think that is what's frightening I think in a way it's good that it, it's a good thing to have national we were talking about this before it's a good thing to have national sort of unity and, and there's, there's, there's something to be said for that, but I feel like we're going in a frightening direction with that. Okay. How do you feel about the administration's foreign policy 
Um, well, aside from my personal opinions on the administration foreign policy, which are rather negative, I was just going to say that um, I think one of the interesting things about this is the way that it's become part of the liberal conservative debate, how everything gets sucked into the liberal conservative debate. That, you know, we're going along and here's the country and liberals and conservatives, and then all of a sudden, you know, Bush has this foreign policy idea, which suddenly becomes the conservative foreign policy idea, and therefore everyone who is a Republican and who identifies himself as a conservative is re expected to go along with this, and all people who are liberal and democratic are and Democrats are obviously against it. Um, when I don't really are they obviously against our Bush or the administration is saying that no, not the administration. Democrats I mean, among Democrats and people who call people who call themselves Democrats and liberals. Um, all expect, obviously, we are all against, you know, we're all against the war in Iraq, and we're all, like, I, I mean, I, I think that when really this isn't necessarily, I just, it bothers me how everything has to become a liberal or conservative okay, so issue. Okay, again, you're talking about the polarization. Ex yeah. Okay, but how do you, Leah Carter, feel about the foreign policy, this, the war in Iraq, the the coalition of the those who cooperate with the administration and those who don't what happens to them what's well, the kind of language we use about them how do you feel about that right well i feel it's um bad i mean i i, I really don't like our attitude toward the rest of the world to right now in terms of yeah but what's the consequence very, did well, you it's, see it's any very, consequence to it I what mean, do you mean do you see any consequence to to us saying um if the rest of the world is not with us, they're against us. And well, yeah, it's, it's, it's very negative. Right. It's, I mean, I feel like it's taking the same attitude that we use at home against each other abroad and let's do the same thing with the rest of the world. But by the way, well, if you're not coming to war with us, we hate you. You know, I mean, yeah, but, but what does it's, that it's do? immature and short-sighted and assumes that we'll always be the world power. You know, we'll always be able to just do whatever we want and someday, just the way history goes, it doesn't look like we're going to be the world power forever and someday we might actually need other countries and... Like mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's or even if we are the world sense. power, but even if we are, it's countries. still yeah. arrogant to yeah to act as if we don't need other countries. I mean, I, I, I do think if the Bush administration really felt at the time it was going to war that this was the thing we need to do, this is the right thing to do, is to go to war in Iraq. Okay, fine, but they didn't need to be so cavalier about it. Well, we're going to war. What do you think, UN? Well, don't. Well, whatever. Well, we, don't ago, we, we don't care what you think. We don't care what you think. We were told mission accomplished. We when, were told yeah. mission accomplished. Well, uh, no, I mean, it's all been a mess, mm -hmm. and it wasn't well planned. When Jeffrey, we in, if you could advise the administration about its foreign policy rhetoric, what would you say? What would you advise them to do or not to do? Okay, well, before I answer your question, um, I just wanted to um, uh, say that it's actually very interesting, um, the way we're talking right now, um, dealing with uh, foreign policy. The question was, was that how do we feel about the Bush administration and its foreign policy? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting how immediately we all think of Iraq. Um, it's immediately how, you know, the first thing you mentioned was the Iraq war. Um, the first thing you, the only thing you talked about was the Iraq war and, you know, how, you know, this, this coalition of, of, of countries. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, you know, there is much more going on in the world besides yes, Iraq. Yes, we could certainly talk yeah. about the policy on Burundi, Rwanda. Right, no. Uh, and North what, Korea. And, right, right, North Korea. And, and mm -hmm. what I would like to say is that I, I think that, um, you know, there's been this connection between foreign policy automatically means Iraq. And there's, since Iraq is, has is such a bad connotation with it, people automatically assume that okay. Bush administration Take foreign Rwanda policy... Rwanda doesn't have a great Iraq. connotation either, though. But, uh, what, yeah, what, I mean, Iraq is the only but, issue that people right, think about. I, I it is a very right, but I'm saying that It seems like the only issue that we're addressing right now. And I, I mean, what I'm saying is that you know, the Bush administration, while you know, we, we are saying that you know, he, he's polarizing the world, you know, he's, um, he's telling um, like he, he wants to deal with everything by himself, but you know I, I would give um, you know again I'm not you know thinking okay, that the Bush. Jeffrey, no, well, here let's, let me just mention one thing. Um, things like you know North Korea, for example. Mm -hmm. You know um, you know if everyone wants to say that you know the Bush administration wants to go at it alone. You know besides the Bush administration had already said that you know they're not um, they're you know they don't have any intentions right now to attack North Korea. Um, they also don't support, um, you know, just simply bilateral talks between the U.S. and, and North, North Korea. They support having multilateral talks with diff different countries. And and what what I'm trying to de um, deal with that there is that 
um, we we shouldn't label um, the Bush administration as saying that well just because they they you know they might have messed up in Iraq it means that everything else they're doing in the world is completely wrong. I mean I, I would like to say that I think that the Bush mission has done a great job in terms of the um, you know Israeli Palestinian conflict. Um, I mean I, I think he's he's put